Longhorn has always been synonymous with the Texas lifestyle, but did you know that this Texas icon was almost extinct? Welcome to the Butler Longhorn Museum. Well, it's a very interesting place. Uh, we're hidden back in the back part of League City, but it's a beautiful facility. We also have 10 acres with a lake, but when you go into the Longhorn Museum, you're going to see longhorns, a real um, stuffed, full-size longhorn, and of course, the history of League City. How did the Longhorn become such a Texas icon? After the Civil War, the North needed uh, beef, and so ranchers uh, started rounding them up. Uh, there was no railroad here at that time, so they drove them up the Chisholm Trail and they sold them to the northern states. But because of the Longhorn trade here, uh, Texans did quite well. Can you tell us a little bit about Milby Butler and the Butler family? Uh, Milby Butler went off and started his own ranching business. In the 1920s, he saw that the Longhorn was becoming kind of extinct. And he said, I'm gonna start breeding these animals. So he went down to South Texas and he bought some true Longhorns and he started a breeding program here in League City. And about the same time, six other groups, ranches, uh, and the uh, Department of the Interior, the Wichita Wildlife Refuge, started breeding programs. So we can thank your family for saving the Longhorn here in Texas. My family, along with six That's other okay. uh, ranches. Uh -huh. okay. He couldn't do it all Dolan's by himself. All. Oh, okay. <laughs> it takes a team, right? It takes a village. Takes a team. Yeah. Uh -huh. Welcome to the Butler Longhorn Museum. Now please look at the ceiling when you walk into this room. And what is so unique about this, this is all Butler bred horns. Do you have stickers with numbers on them? That we do, and the stickers are, we're counting for the Guinness World Records of Horns. We have to keep a count. So how many do you have right now? We have 274. Now this lady right behind you is Miss John Wayne. Oh, and she's she beautiful. is named after the actor himself, John Wayne. Yes. She has a pure double twist. She was in the movie, The Alamo. So. <gasps> She's a movie star. She is a movie star. Very true statement from John Wayne. Milby Butler has been a great friend as well as my best character study for the Texas men I portray in my films, John Wayne. John Wayne, very, wow. very true. The Butlers really formed a great relationship with him. That's amazing. Would you like to see a $2 million exhibit? Absolutely, Let's yes ma'am. This is our pride and joy here. This is actually how the Longhorns look when they're running through a herd. And each one of these Longhorns has a story behind them. They're all registered. This guy Beautiful. was awesome. He sold for $1 million in 1960 at the Livestock and Rodeo Show. Oh my goodness. This was a type of bull that breeders were looking for. The horn spread, and he was just a incredible animal. Well, this is a great exhibit. Oh, thank you. We're very, very proud of it. We have people come from all over to see this exhibit. There is so much to explore and learn about the Texas Longhorn. I'm going to finish up this film. Catch y'all later. <laughs>